What a January bounce. I guess you could take four, five, six percent. And I know, Jerome, you're sitting with your Bloomberg and your Monroe Trader annualizing that out as well. What's the now what for you after a January pop? Yeah, in reality, you know, what used to be just a handful of basis points is pretty substantial. And you're right, Tom, the <coughs> annualized returns you have in a single month now add up to something for cash that's something in the realm of, you know, four and a half to six percent, depending upon your strategy. That's an important factor to consider when you look at the landscape right now that's punctuated with economic uncertainty, potential for volatility. And we're at a crossroads right now where clearly the market is at an impasse with the Federal Reserve and where they're going. And so that's going to probably be reconciled over the next couple of weeks, months, and as it is, it doesn't necessarily portray to be a smooth ride. So we do still find value within that front end of the yield space within the uh, within the within the global bond world. Uh, however, I think it's what it really the question is not necessarily where to be on the yield curve, but more importantly, it's a discussion of how much to allocate well, to fixed income in general, given the yeah. recalibrations we've seen. And Jerome, what's so important here is OBE, where you're overcome by events. And here, Jerome, and I'm speaking as a total hack, people in the mid-maturity decide they want to enter the Jerome Schneider space and you get price up, yield down, where it's no fun for you. Are you going to be overwhelmed by people's running, dashing to short term? Well, there's actually pretty much a tremendous supply of that. And I think it's sort of met on two folds. Number one, you have the, of course, people looking for moving from lower yielding investments now that they're aware that there is attractive op options in cash. But there's also significant opportunities that persist. And it's really typically outside the traditional landscape of money market funds and T-bills. It's more in buying short dated asset backed securities, high quality commercial paper, things that really have self liquidating features, and, but yet remain fairly insulated to where we are in the global economic cycle. That's the key. But I do think that there is an overall focus right now where people have shunned for more than the past decade an overallocation to bonds. And that really gets to the point right now of instead of a discussion of where on the yield curve to be, despite the discussions of where we are with the Fed today, it's more about how do you want to create a more balanced portfolio given the yield enhancement that we can see for portfolio performance more broadly.